sir. Keesler Air Force Base was the site of the second annual Pathways to Blue event hosted by Second Air Force. More than 180 ROTC cadets and 31 active duty enlisted personnel spent two days learning about many different career fields the Air Force had to offer its future officers. Major General Mark Brown, commander of Second Air Force, said the main purpose of Pathways to Blue was to educate the cadets on some specialties they might not have known existed. He called it the art of the possible. This weekend and all of these specialists that give of their time to come as mentors, are closing that gap between what we know to be air, incredibly important for air power and what we want these future airmen to know so that they can make a great choice about one, coming into the United States Air Force and serving their country, and then two, exactly how they want to do that and in what special. Career fields highlighted during Pathways to Blue included cyber operations, remotely piloted aircraft or RPA pilots, air traffic control, and medical specialties, among others. Major Sarah Abel, an ER trauma nurse with the 81st Medical Group, said an event like this is vital to helping the young men and women better understand what it means to do your job as an Air Force officer. Less than 1% of the American population decides to put on a uniform and serve, and so I think hearing the impact that they have um, when they put this uniform on, and it, again, they're hearing it consistently both from their instructors and now from the other Air Force officers that they're interacting with, so I think it really hits home the point of, of what it means to serve. One of the young cadets listening to the medical brief was Tuskegee University sophomore and cadet third class Kayla Davis. She is a nursing major, and although she already knew what she wanted to do in general, Davis said Pathways to Blue helped her gain even more perspective. To be able to see all these jobs, before I thought I was going to be a flight nurse, but maybe that might not be the road for me. I might want to be an ER nurse. I might want to be a um, pediatric nurse and just be able to have the opportunity to see what these different jobs are has been very enlightening. As the ROTC cadets spent their time walking around the base and interacting with active duty officers from career fields of all sorts, they each got a unique look at how the Air Force could use their many diverse talents and backgrounds. The young future officers got to interact with various static displays and technical equipment unique to different career fields, as well as fly aboard some impressive aircraft. Cadet Major Jasmine Crane, a junior at Xavier University and member of Tulane University's ROTC detachment, said Pathways to Blue is a real game changer for her Air Force plans. Generally I was going towards medical, but listening to all the different AFSCs and descriptions and job work environments has really geared me more towards being an RPA pilot. Never will I have realized that I wanted to be a pilot, but just talking to the RPA pilots, the instructors at the different schools, they really spelled it out and put it out there, like learning something different and doing something that's really needed in the Air Force, it really got me wanting to be an RPA pilot. Remotely piloted aircraft are just one example of the cutting edge innovation common in today's Air Force. Major General Mark Brown said the Air Force recruits worldwide from a diverse talent pool, and Pathways to Blue is a great way for young future officers to discover a career that inspires them to bring even more innovative ideas to the table. We want to have an environment that welcomes and in fact rewards innovative thinking. What better place to do that than in the United States Air Force where all of those specialties uh, are available and there. So I believe that if you think about air power, we're born of innovation. It's at the very soul and ethos of what we do. So if you're an innovator, this is the place for you.